Good day, Grade 6 learners of Payawan Elementary School. This is your Science 6 teacher, Miss Jocelyn F. Mendoza. I will go along with you as we study a topic from the most essential learning competency, manipulate simple machines to describe their characteristics and uses. Kids, join in our class discussion by listening well. Answering the activities prepared for you as you are guided by your parents, guardians, or older brother and sister. Kindly get your activity sheets, ball pen, and pencil, and get ready to listen and learn. Last time, you have learned about how energy can be changed from one form to another. Can you still remember it? What is energy transformation? Yes, you are correct. In order for energy to be used, it has to be changed from one form to another. That is, energy transformation. When we use a television set, we need to have electrical energy to turn it on. This electrical energy will then be transformed into radiant or light energy as we watch a TV show. Sound energy is also produced in the process. After a long period of watching, heat or thermal energy is also produced. What is always formed when there is energy transformation? Excellent! Heat or thermal energy is always produced when energy changes its form. Our lesson today is about simple machines and its kinds. But before that, what do you use to easily peel or slice fruits and vegetables? Yes, we use knife to peel and cut the fruits and vegetables at home. Do you know that a knife is an example of simple machine? I will now talk about the simple machines. You may hold your learning activity sheets. Look at the lecture and drawings while I do the explanation. Listen well kids. Simple machines were made to make our work easier. It multiplies the force that we exert on it. There are six kinds of simple machines. First, we have inclined plane, lever, wedge, screw, pulley, and wheel and axle. We will now discuss about the first kind of simple machine, that is, inclined plane. An inclined plane is a simple machine that has a sloping surface. It lessens the effort exerted in transporting weight over a distance in height. An example of this is a rump and a slide. Next we have lever. Lever is a device which has a fulcrum or pivot point. The effort end where the force is applied and the resistance end where the load is located. Example of lever is a seesaw, scissors, tires, and wheelbarrow. Another kind of simple machine is wedge. A wedge is a double inclined plane that is sharpened to an end. Examples of wedges are knives, axe, pins, and nails. 
Next we have a screw. A screw is a form of inclined plane that is wrapped around a central shaft or cylinder or rod. Example of this is the common screw that we use at home. Another kind of simple machine is pulley. The pulley is a modified wheel and axle. It is a special type of wheel that has a rope is sliding on the groove of the wheel. Example of pulleys are the flagpole and zip line. And lastly, we have the wheel and axle. Wheel and axle has the same appearance with pulley. But, it has a wheel that is fixed to an axle. Example of wheel and axle is the doorknob and the steering wheel of a car. What are the kinds of simple machines again? They are Inclined plane Lever Wedge Screw Pulley and wheel and axle. Will you read them again, kids? Yeah, that's good. Did you understand the difference among the six kinds of simple machines? Very good. So now, let's move on to the activity about the lesson. Prepare your learning activity sheet and ball pen. Let us read the directions. Match the braces or items in column A with the correct kind of simple machine in column B. Write the letter of your answer. Number 1. A special type of wheel that has a rope sliding in the group of the wheel. Number 2. A simple machine that has a sloping surface. Number 3. A device which has a fulcrum or a pivot point, the effort end where force is applied, and the resistance end where the, where the load is located. Number four, a form of inclined plate that is wrapped around a central shaft. Five, a double inclined plane that is sharpened to an end. Six, it has a wheel that is fixed on an axle. Seven, Knife, eight seesaw, nine rump, D doorknob. I'll give you two minutes to finish the activity.
time is up. I am hoping that all your answers are correct. If not, it will be just fine. As long as you try your best in our activity next time. Keep your activity sheet and make sure that you will send it to me when your parents or guardian return it to school. Once again, this is your science teacher, Miss Jocelyn of Mendoza. Always remember, science can make the impossible possible. Till next time kids, God bless and stay safe at home.